Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again. Tonight I'm giving you a short introduction to Gnome Mplayer, which in Antics is uh, clicking on the video link, we'll bring it up. And it is quite a capable player. It's based on Mplayer, it's just a graphical interface to Gnome play to Mplayer. Mplayer will play just about any format you throw at it. Um, it looks very simple when you start and you can use the file open and open folders and open locations to get your um, media file playing but you can also drag and drop and I actually like to do that better so I've got my video here with my Doctor Who movie and it's now going to play the video now you probably can't hear it but it is playing in full audio there are some interesting there are some interesting uh, options that you can have while the video is running. Uh, you can see the playlist over here and you can add items to the playlist by checking these boxes. You have add item boxes, you have remove items, yeah, you can save your playlists, you can um, add a whole folder to the playlist. And what's interesting, you can actually mix and match audio and video while you do this, so it's kind of cool. But the playlist functions, I find, are more useful for music playback. And in this way, it's very similar to Windows 8, or Windows 7's um, media player, or the old classic media player. And what's cool is you can drag a whole folder... That was extremely loud in case you couldn't hear it. Uh, you can drag a whole folder all at once to GNOME M Player. And if we hit the playlist button, which is also F9, but I'm going to go to View and Playlist, you'll see we have the playlist feature here. And actually, if you make the window larger, and this is, works really great on a larger monitor, my monitor is not very big, you can see the album art, the name and title, and everything. This is where the video would normally play, it puts the album art up you can see your playlist you can move your items around maybe you really want to hear Dancing Queen next I know you do so you can move it up to be after Waterloo there the um, and you can move things down again you can add whole folders or you can add individual items with these bars you can clear the whole playlist you can unsort the playlist I'm not exactly sure what that does maybe if you sort it a certain way <clears throat> oh you're probably clicking on these items you can sort yeah so unsort the playlist handy feature and you can see details about the file this works for the audio files too with the encoding information and you get this cool little audio meteor uh, thing now I'm going to unmute the volume here real quick so you can see the auto the meter in action it's kinda cool again it'll play all your audio files out of the box it'll play uh, most of your video files out of the box, including MKVs, your Master Voica files, MP4s, it'll play all those. Uh, it will not play, obviously, DRM protected uh, media, but hey, goes to the territory with a free operating system. Uh, I will say one other item, and I'll have a separate video on this, it will play unencrypted DVDs out of the box, and if you install a special library, um, it will uh, play commercial DVDs as well. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a different video. I'll throw a link in the notes. Um, again, there you go. Short introduction to GNOME M Player. Tips, tricks, how to's. Head over to antics.mepis.org. Drop us a post at antics.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great evening.